All right, man, Torture Talk. Good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hey, man, look, man, good morning to y'all. Wake up, man, go to work. If you ain't got a job, go get a job, nigga. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and ladies, if you need your hair done, go get your hair done. You know what I'm saying? Comb that, the naps out in the back of that head. You know what I'm saying? Peas. You know, when we was younger, they used to call them peas. Like peas. Like, well, I don't understand why they call them peas. Like, I guess, like, when you got, like, like peas are green. So why would you call black people head peas? Like, look at all those peas in the back of your head. Like, peas, nigga. You can't think of something else? How about cherry? Oh, well, no, uh, what they call them? Black cherries or something like that. You know what I'm saying? I guess that's not, that's not funny enough, but. Peasy head girls. All you peasy head girls, go get your hair done. Get up. Make sure your boyfriend, you know, pay for it too. All right, man. Look, man. Good morning to y'all. Good morning. All right, man. Listen. So today we're going to be watching a video of an interview with some dude named Flacco. He's talking about Kendrick Lamar didn't do anything for what happened at the pop out. And I'm going to go through this. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to get to this. So before I get to that, you know, I got to give that spill, baby. You know, that spill, baby. That spill. <laughs> that spill, baby. You know, this is Torture Talk. If you like the content, please consider subscribing. If you're new here, let me work on your subscription today. All the beautiful, sexy ladies put one in the chat. All the fellas, y'all know where to find the ones at. Just don't harass them. I don't sell no merch, but I do have content that's absolutely free. But if you want to leave a donation, links on the screen, cash app, PayPal is in the description. It called me the hidden gem. I went from 1,300 subscribers to over 11,000. About to be 12,000 real soon. Maybe by tonight and a million by Monday morning. And let me know where you're from, too. I really appreciate that. I always want, I also want to say, I also want to say, this is life-changing for me. Thank y'all. I really appreciate y'all. You know what I'm saying? I can't thank y'all enough because y'all are the ones, the reason why this channel is the way it is and where it's going. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't going to stop. I'm on track to probably release the most episodes by next year. I'm going to have released the most episodes out of any streamer. Yeah, you know I'm saying out of any content creator, I'm probably going to be the one that released the most episodes doing three to four a day. Some of them only do two and I'm, and it's not a competition. I'm just saying I'm working hard and a lot of my other um, content creators are working hard too. shout out to them. So, I'm just saying I'm going to be in there. All right, man. So, look, we're going to get right to it, man. I know that was a long intro. I'm sorry. If all y'all say, damn, man, it's three minutes in, bro. What the hell? Like, I'm sorry, bro. Just had to talk to my people, man. Had to talk to my people. So, all right, look, we're going to get to it. All right, look, man. So, I had to change the hoodie because it was hot. You know what I'm saying? And um, I'm going to put this hat on, man. I like this hat. Kind of weird looking, but I like it. All right, so look, we're going to get to it. Let's go. <laughs> no, 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 no. Wait, 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 hair. All right, go ahead. Hair, no, no. Mm -hmm. But yeah, why do you feel like it's okay for Kendra Lamar mm -hmm. to teach the five-year-olds oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. to Crip yeah. and Blood Walk? Mm -hmm. And undoubtedly, without a fact, Kendra Lamar would be the greatest, sorry, is and would prove to be the greatest recruiter to game making, meaning Kendrick Lamar would would probably lead about twenty million children into game banging over the next five years, right? Based this is a stupid nigga. I ain't even gonna hold no punches on this one. This is torture talk, and I'm going into torture talk mode today. This is a dumb nigga. This is a dumb nigga. <sighs> This is what I mean by we just accept anybody into this culture. This is a dumb nigga. Y'all looking at a dumb nigga. So let me get this right. Crip walking, sea walking, blood walking, been around before Kendrick was even born. I would say even if he was born, he was young. Right. You're saying that because he was crip walking or sea walking or blood walking 
in the Not Like Us video that he is going to cause at least 30 million new or 20 or 10 or whatever number you gave that was astronomical gangbangers. Ladies and gentlemen, y'all have witnessed one of the dumbest niggas online right here. This guy right here. This is the stupidest fucking take that I ever heard in my life. So, with your logic, idiot, any movie that these kids watch that is gangbang related, that means they're going to gangbang. Any movie that they watch is an action movie. Any video game they play that has, that has pistols in it, oh, they're going to want to shoot pistols. The, the, the dumbness that comes from some of these people is outlandish. I cannot believe that people go this far with being dumb. This is just an extreme take that you're trying to get clicks off of. Unreal. Of that one song, mm -hmm. right? And, and here's how a song about colonizing and calling niggas pedophiles with no truth, here's how that song correlates to game banging. How do you say that the man is calling someone pedophiles with no proof, right? With no proof. When there's literally proof, you, you, a lot of y'all expect Kendrick to pull out a video of Drake having intercourse with minors. That's what y'all expect. That's what y'all want. Y'all want him to pull out a video of Drake. Not, not, there is a video online that's still there where he tells a young 17 year old girl, I like the way your breast feels against my chest. How can you say that there's no evidence? You, you niggas is looking at this blindly because you like Drake. That's what it is. You like Drake. You sit there and say there's no evidence, but the evidence is in your face. There's little girls, young women at the time, is saying that they were talking to Drake when they were 16, 17 year olds. Say, Drake, I hear you like them young. Say, Drake, I hear you like them young. How is that a lie? He does talk to minors and 17, 16 year old girls. How does that make him? How is that? How is that re uh, not real? When Kendrick Lamar Mar himself dropped a dance tutorial to that song and his, and his females and men blood walking, which can also very similar to crib walking, when that's the dance tutorial to the song, well, then you are not implementing that into gang culture. When this nigga is dumb. This is a dumb nigga. This is a dumb nigga. And it's... it's this dude is so stupid that it gets you upset because there are people out there who literally have a platform and they talk on their platform and they and they spew stupid nonsense like this. This is retarded. Listen to this dude. It's it's so it's so disgusting that I can't even continue on letting him talk without stopping it because he's so retarded. What he's saying. Listen to this. You do a show for Amazon and 100 million people is watching and you personally is blood walking on stage doing what the shit, right? And having 100 bloods and crips on stage as well doing that little like, like, you know, um, a game making shit too, right? Mm -hmm. Well, then you are now providing an imagery. You are not making it fashionable for, I, them, for them kids. I think you missed the purpose. This nigga dumb as hell. That's the dumbest shit I ever heard. What the hell? Bro, you are stupid. You're stupid. You're stupid, bro. That's stupid. So because Kendrick Lamar, man, I, you know what? I'm going to let this guy talk. And I'm a, I got a lot to say, and I'm not going to spoil it. Let's go. I think then you personally missed the point of the show. Because the bigger picture of the show mm -hmm. <clears throat> was to highlight unity, which he did. Right, you're from LA. You can speak to you. You hell live nah. in LA. You from live LA, in LA. Hell, yeah, you I live in LA. You can speak to that. You you what? you can speak to the unity that Kendrick brought. With... LA. You're not even from LA, bro. 
How can you speak to gang culture? You're not even from there. You say you live there, but you're not even from there. How do you know? And you don't, and to me, you don't even remind me of somebody that knows anything about gang culture. You don't know how, you don't know. So you're correlating, this is what you're doing, right? You're correlating a dance with death. Basically saying that because a person knows how to do this, the crip walk, I'm sure Whitney hasn't killed anybody. I'm sure a lot of people that do that dance hasn't killed. I'm sure Serena Williams, she hasn't done that. And she sure enough did that at the ESPYs. This is how dumb these niggas are. They don't do no research. They just basically say whatever's on their mind. And the only reason why he's doing this is because he likes Drake. That's what it is. He likes Drake. And there's no consequences for dudes like this. Because they could get to say whatever they want to say. That's cool. But there's no consequences because we allow it. We allow it. We just, we cool with it. Bring in those people from different. You don't do that. That, that kind of what stuff don't happen. That kind of stuff don't happen, bro. Huh? Wait, 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 wait. I mean, you and I are smart enough to know what you that need, though? those colors don't exist like that it in does. L.A. Oh, he tricked you. Oh, that, oh. <laughs> Flacco, what are we talking I about, I understand man? it now. Oh, shit. Yo, this nigga good, man. Yo, yo, Kendrick is good. It's not good. It's oh the facts. Oh, my God. It's the facts. He, that's listen, listen, listen. Look, right? Look. So he has brainwashed people into thinking that blue rags and red rags aren't friends. Or that Bro, red what rags. the fuck is this nigga talking about? Kendrick never said that. He never once said that. He never said that. He said, what he said at the end, I'm glad to see us all come together, right? And you can't deny that there were blue flags and red flags on the stage. But the way you're framing it, as if his, the whole pop-out concert was about that. It wasn't. It was about him, Ken, and friends putting people on. That's what it's about. Artists that you probably never heard of or artists that you heard of that, cu that couldn't get that venue. This dumb dude here is trying to find something wrong with, with that, what he did. Even let's say, okay, nigga, I would even go with your argument. Even if he did, even if, if, even if it was a bunch of people who knew each other, you just said, you, ju you literally just said, off of what you just said, nigga. You literally just said he's going to influence people off the crit walk. So if him, him doing that, bringing the people together on stage, you're telling me that that's not an influence that maybe they shouldn't be fighting each other? You telling me that? This is how stupid these niggas is. They, they just be saying anything. How can you say that? The nigga literally just said, Kendrick, uh, he got you, bro. He made you think that these people were friends from the beginning. But guess what? There's the ideology is there's red and there's blue and they war with each other. So even if these some of these dudes are friends, people don't know that. What people do see is them together. Just like you just said that people crip walk and, and it's going to you're going to bring more generational gangbangers because of crip walking. But you, OK, but he ain't going to stop generational gangbanging from showing people that they can get along or coexist. It was stupid, dog. You sound dumb as hell. Man, I've been to LA. Those colors do. If you it wear, does. if you wear the wrong color in LA, now I, I don't want to speak on LA gang culture. Yeah. I'm not part of any gang. I'm just a regular ass nigga. Yeah. But from what I've observed, of course. And I've been to LA, and what I've of observed course. is certain in certain neighborhoods where you can't wear certain colors. Sure. Here, right? No, look, right. So look, right. For example, right. So Kendrick being able to put certain group of people on that stage. Yeah sets a precedence to me. Like, it just, it, it, it holds value. And I think that's the bigger picture. It's like, yo, we moving. This is more than just a song about oh, pedophilia. Oh, he tricked everybody, like, man. This is more than yo, just that. So, yo, Art, bro, he's so good, yo. And like, if, listen, yo, just me right now, just hearing you like, uh, like, like I was talking about it, bro. I'm like, bro, this this, this is why Drake couldn't beat this nigga, man. No. He's such a mastermind. And here's no. how he masterminded it, right? Okay, look, right? So look, in, in LA, right, there's enemy gangs, right? However, like, for example, if you wear, let's say, orange, right, in the 60s, right, well, that's probably bad. Man, this nigga dumb. 
you were, you you were right. I already know that you're going to say some off the wall stupid shit. That's not. It's going to lead all the way into a fucking dead end. I, I I don't even have to listen to it because I already know what you're going to say is going to lead all the way to a dead end. You ain't got no point. You ain't going to land no plane. You're just going to just talk crazy. Watch this. I can guarantee it. Watch. I'd write it right for me because Orange is Hoover and the 60s are enemies of the Hoovers, right? So what Kendrick did was is he just brought various factions of gangbanging in on stage. He ain't bring no direct enemies and made them squash it and piece it up, right? Bro, look at this goofy shit, bro. I swear to you, I swear to God, bro. You cannot, you can't do nothing to satisfy nobody. I see exactly why Kendrick Lamar does not talk to none of you goofy niggas. I see it right now. I see it. It's not his responsibility to do that, nigga. How you going to sit here and say that this man, he didn't bring all these factions together and make them squash it. He don't have to do that. He shouldn't have to do that, nigga. Why would he have to do that? He's not responsible to do that. I don't understand it. It's like the man brings people together, whether you want to say they were enemies or not, or they were cool or not, they still stand on our other side, nigga. Because there are some Democrats and some Republicans that are cool, nigga. But they're on the other side. They have differences of opinion. Gang banging is the same thing. So if you're saying that this gang and that gang, they might not get along, or today they might. But you're saying you want him to bring devout arch enemies together as if that's his responsibility to do that. I, he, didn't, he didn't bring the worst enemies and the worst. Why would he want to do that? Who wants to do that? He bring them up in there and shit happens. Then, then you can say, see, he tried to do some bullshit. That's why you can't bring them together. This nigga dumb as hell. This is stupid. These were niggas that already got along, right? Listen, there were no direct enemies and on that stage. Meaning, bro, Kendrick it ain't bring, you know, like, like, uh, Ralphie the Plug and Munchie B and on stage and made them squash it for unity. No. How the fuck, yo, this is crazy. So you're, but you're basically saying because to your standards, he didn't bring rival arch enemies that probably go generations back or whatever who did something to each other because he didn't bring them on stage to squash the beef. Then he manipulated everybody into believing that he squashed, that believing that he brought gangs together. These dudes was already cool with each other anyway. How stupid do you sound? It's about the visual, nigga, whether they were cool or not. Even if they are cool, you still have to lend that argument to Kendrick because he did bring them on stage and everybody can see that because guess what? Everybody don't know that these dudes are cool. This shit is crazy. Right, bro? As he brought niggas who, who were already cool, How friends, you know collabing on. How do you know that? How do you know that? How do you know that? That's the, that's the question I would ask him. How do you know that? Do you know these dudes that was on stage? Do you know any of them? You might know two or three, but do you know all any or any of all of them? Do you know them? How do you know that? How do you know? That's, that's the question. You, you feel me? And had them dance on stage, but Kendrick Lamar painted this answer. Yo, we're doing a unity for LA. Yo, bro, I'm solving the gang violence. I'm solving the gang beefs. But not one he beef was on that stage, nah, bro. No, not bro. When did he ever... This is how you know, bro. I'm telling y'all now, I swear, I swear on everything. Kendrick Lamar has caused a mental illness to Drake fans, bro, and Drake himself, bro. I totally believe that. I totally believe that he caused some type of mental disruption in a lot of these dudes' brains. Where did you ever get that from him that he was bringing the gang culture together to solve gang violence and unity? When did you see that? He said he said that on the stage. It looks good. It's everything of all. This is this is love right here. He said that on the stage. He didn't promote that. He didn't put that on his flyer. He didn't say none of that. Where did he say that at? This is how you know these dudes are just they're reaching for anything just so they can say I have something on Kendrick. How can you demonize him bringing, whether they were friends or not, how can you demonize him bringing people together? Bringing people together. Guess what? 
I'm not from LA. I'm not in a gang. I'm from Jersey, right? I, li I live out in the area of Jersey, right? Okay, cool. There's dudes that are not gangbangers in Jersey, but they're enemies of mine and I'm enemies of theirs. You can't say because he, like, if, if, if someone was to bring somebody on stage, it doesn't necessarily have to mean it's, the, it's solving the gang culture or the gang violence. No, he never said that. But you want to put all of that ownership on Kendrick instead of putting the ownership on people who need to be more responsible. This is how stupid these dudes sound. Real stupid. Just dumb. Say what? that. Beef will solve. Nah, we can't. I can't let you say that. He did I, not. I, I, he didn't I, I, say I I'm solving gang violence. I'm solving. I'm solving gang. No, no, no. That, the, that represent, the representation matters, Flacco. Like it being does able. Not. Being yes, it does. What? That's Why? how. That's Yo, how this sh nigga dumb. You just said. You literally just said him having kids dance and sea walk and crip walk is gonna cause kids to become gangbangers and he just said to you the representation the representation matters and you said it doesn't this is how y'all know y'all just be saying anything so let me get this right a positive representation doesn't mean anything but him having people dance in this in a video that means so much like you get the up bro my god i would have tore this nigga up in the interview but like bro you sound crazy you sound crazy as hell a lot of y'all don't, I'm real good on thinking on my feet. I'm real good at, I think I, I come up with stuff fast when it comes to, uh, when it comes to these type of things, these type of interviews, I would have tore this nigga up. I'm telling you, I'd have been like, what are you talking about? You just literally contradicted yourself. Explain this. That's what I would have said. Change. That's how you shift culture. But, but those are no, all friends, that, though. That's how you shift culture. You shift culture by presenting an image. There's a reason why fucking um, uh, outrage marketing happens, right? Okay. Because they want to test the temperature. They uh, want to yeah. see if people still care about this type of shit. Okay. Marketing works. No, yeah. Regardless of what you think, marketing works. Okay. Presenting on a stage like that with millions of people watching, millions mm -hmm. of people or thousands of people in attendance, sure, sure. it's important to see that representation wow. that that those color can exist Why? together on stage. Why? What? <laughs> because you want to stop the generational gangbanging, nigga. You just said that about the dancing. It's the, it's the same effect, right? That's the same exact effect. Showing someone... <laughs> that are getting along. And you said, well, they were already friends. It doesn't matter if they were already friends. The people that's watching it don't know. Just like, just like people watching them, she walk don't know nothing either, right? This nigga sound dumb as hell. This is a dumb nigga. I swear to you, I never seen nothing like it. This is a dumb nigga. A dumb nigga. This is what I mean, like, some of y'all need to educate yourselves before y'all even speak. I mean, you ain't gotta be have a PhD and shit. But I mean, come on, bro. You gotta, you have to get you, articulate your thoughts a little better and come at people a little better because you will get tore up if you had a real person. Now I'm saying not saying this dude ain't real, but if you had a real person in front of you giving you an interview, I mean, he doing a good job cutting you up, though. I ain't gonna lie, he doing a real good job. Regardless if it's deep, if it's if there are guys who are deep, deep, deep in the streets, it could be that yo, you have a prominent voice in LA or in that culture or yeah. in this game, you know, pull up. Is that possible? Can y'all make this happen? Bro, yes, I right, cool, you can come. Bro, imagery is everything. You know that. You know that. I'm sure, I'm sure you, I'm sure you market yourself a certain way. It's everything. Imagery is everything. I don't understand how the, how these dudes don't get that. It's everything. It, it, the same guy that you are, or or. So let me get this right. So Drake has ponytails, right? His nails done. He has Hello Kitty. Are you saying that off of him doing that, he's gonna he's gonna make a lot of men feminine, a lot of young boys feminine? Is that is that what you're saying? Because that's what I would have asked him too. You know what I'm saying? Because Drake arguably has a lot of influence, probably more than Kendrick, right? So you're telling me that that's what, that's what would have happened? But if you are in LA and from LA, then you already know that those colors can exist because people are friends bro, and on that oh stage. I mean God, it right like- Bro, this nigga is dumb.
Bro, oh my God, this nigga dumb. This is a dumb nigga. Dumb. If you already from LA, then you already know that. There are a lot of people who don't know that. There are a lot of people who don't know that. That's from LA. These a lot of these dudes, they think so minuscule. I swear to y'all, they think so minuscule. They don't even think on a bigger, grander scale. They think minuscule, and everything is so small to them. They look at, they look at the world as they could walk around the world. They could walk to the end of the earth within an hour in their head. They could, they feel like okay, I could walk here and I could walk there. That's how big the earth is to them. They don't realize that their town, their town is their town. They don't realize there's a hundred million towns everywhere. They just think of it on a small scale. It doesn't matter if you're a crip or your blood. Listen, I right? I mean, we don't know that, though. It's, no, 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 no. See, look, right? Look, it's the people who are outside of L.A., I guess, will somewhat, like, confused. But, bro, 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 listen, right? So, look, bro, look, bro, look. Is this crips, for example, right? There are crip factions, right? Who hate each other more than a lot of hair, right? Hair, right? Hair, right? It is a fact that the beefing happens within the flag, then cross the path, meaning this, right? Crips beef with Crips. Bro, this has nothing to do with what he did, bro. Nothing to do with what he did. That is a deeper issue you trying to bring up. And on top of that, you cannot lay gangbanging, solving gangbanging that's been going on for years and years and years at Kendrick's feet. You can't lay that at his feet and say, well, look, he has to do this or he has to do somewhat of it. He don't have to do none of that. None of that. He provided an opportunity for people that probably wouldn't have got the opportunity to get somewhere. And what you're doing is you're trying to uh, uh, throw a bunch of different, you're trying to straw man a, a bunch of different arguments in there that has nothing to do with what happened with, at the pop out. Because you want to glaze for Drake. That's what this all is about. It's more than Crips beef with blood, right? Mm -hmm. And the people on stage were not direct enemies, right? So if you're in LA, then you know. Bro, like, you ain't do nothing, nigga. Like, blood members being on stage with Crip members, bro, does nothing, right? Mm -hmm. Right, right? Like, you know, like, it's a normal thing, like, to see a blood member and on back on fig doing content, right? You see how, this is what I'm saying, you see? Obviously, this, this is a dumb nigga, man. He, first of all, goofy. He worked with Bloods and he worked with Crips. On his own label. That's how goofy this nigga is. Right? He works with that. Your argument is so dumb. Snoop Dogg, which is a crit, was on stage with the game, who is a blood, when Kendrick was up handing his award. It was a bunch of, and that whole thing too. No one never said that Crips and Bloods don't get along. No one said that. But the ideology is that Crips and Bloods are at war. That's the ideology. Whether you want to say all of them people got along or not, whether you're trying to say he deceived people by bringing people that got along on stage, the imagery is what's more the most important. Because guess what? People like me, I did not know that. People like a bunch of people don't know that. What I did know is there were Bloods and there were Crips on stage. And since there were Blood and Crips on stage and they look like they get along, I'm thinking in my head, okay, well, maybe we're making progress that Bloods and Crips don't always fight and don't have to fight. The same thing with people who live in the suburbs who know nothing about gangbanging. Only know they know about is Blood and Crip. That's it. And you're sitting here trying to downplay it because you want to be right for some reason, you're trying to downplay it. That's what I question I would ask him. But why are you trying to downplay the obvious? If you're saying that that's the obvious that happened, why are you trying to downplay it? Why not say that was a good thing to, see, to, to let people see that? Even though they, it, they, a lot of those people probably were friends, it's good to see that because people need to see that Bloods and Crips don't always war because guess what? Guess what? They became friends! 
This nigga is stupid. Mm -hmm. It's a normal thing to see CEO Wacko on community, doing, right? Like, Crips and Bloods live in LA and they're in harmony all the time. Mm -hmm. It's there's neighborhoods who are beefing with each other. Now, if he really wanted to do something and show unity, bring those neighborhoods that are beefing with each other and have them bro. raise up a flag and dance bro, together. This nigga right? dumb, bro, this nigga dumb. This nigga dumb. You literally trying to you literally trying to uh, put Kendrick in the middle and tell him that if he really want to do something, he want to he want to stop the violence. Maybe he need to go to the enemies that's war with each other. What? You got to lead by example. So guess what? Why would I go there and get them to do that when, they, when there are people here that literally exist under peace and they're both Crips and Bloods? Why the fuck would I go over there to get them to come to unity when they can look and see, okay, maybe we need to stop what we're doing. And you have to put some ownership on the people. You're, a lot of you niggas, and this is the reason why a lot of niggas is where they at today. Because they don't want to take accountability. I understand. And I see why a lot of women don't want to deal with you, with you fat, overweight, goofy niggas that do nothing but sit around. I bet you he ain't got no girls. I bet you. I could almost guarantee you that nobody wants to deal with you because you're dumb, twisted logic. You got some stupid, twisted logic. Oh, well, he, if he really want to do something, really? Really? Come on, bro. But he didn't do that. So what he did was, though, and he did the safest PR mastermind and manipulation ever mm -hmm. by bringing random gang members. I can't believe this, bro. I can't believe this. You calling this a, ma a manipulation tactic where he brought gangs together with the, with the ideology of that gangs can get along. Because you just admitted that. You just admitted that gangs can get along. And now you're saying that it was a manipulative tactic because he didn't bring real enemies on the stage. That's what you're saying. This nigga is crazy, bro. <clears throat> on stage and having our thing, oh my God, Kendrick Lamar shows that this can coexist. Nigga, we bad knew this. Niggas wasn't beefing, mm. right? They're all friends and cool. But Kendrick Lamar, bro, you see, yo, and this is why, yo, as a Drake fan, bro, mm -hmm. before it. this battle happened, I said, yo, Drake about to watch Kendrick because Drake is just... Too crafty, too smart, too manipulative. Not knowing. <laughs> I should have known. I should have known. I should have known what type of dude this was from the beginning. You, when you said Drake is going to wash Kendrick because he's too crafty. Too, cr too known. You literally said too known. I, how do you even, even factor that into a battle? I don't understand. Too known. Too known. Bro, come on, bro. Kendrick Lamar was the antichrist himself. Because the shit that he's pulling off on you niggas, man, is crazy. Because how do you... <laughs> Who is you niggas? <laughs> how the fuck... Yo, how do you say... Bro, the crazy thing is... Kendrick Lamar does nothing but talk about peace and unity, harmony, love, respect, uh, uh, everything. You called him the antichrist. This is how you know these dudes are twisted. Even like I don't, even if you don't practice, a lot of people don't practice, right? You don't practice um, uh, uh, Islam or Christianity or Buddha or whatever. You don't practice, but you know when someone's a good person. You know that there's someone that's a good person. Kendrick Lamar is a good person, and you literally called him the Antichrist. You said he is moving like the Antichrist. He got y'all believe. Really? Really? Do you even know who the Antichrist is? You're saying that that person anti means you're against you're against God, religion, everything you could think of. You're against that. You literally called the man the antichrist, where his music he talks about God, he talks about love, spirituality. You called him the antichrist. He literally talks about this stuff in his music where he says he's a very spiritual person. He's all about love. He's all about stand up morals, values, and you called him the antichrist. That's why you can't believe nothing these dudes say because they just use words that they don't even know the meaning to it. You sound dumb as hell. You sound dumb as hell. I don't, no, bro, that's crazy. You called the man the Antichrist? L listen, right? What shit? Yeah. The truth? Bro, <laughs> listen, no, right? No, no, look, right? No, he convinced the masses who's probably um, the truth? Not from LA. No, 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 right? Because look, 
Because, bro, he convinced the masses, right? The 100 million people watching the Amazon stream, bro, he convinced them that he was the rap West Coast savior and brought gangs together to show unity. Bro, the nigga literally has a song where he says he's not your savior. He literally has this. I'm telling y'all now, and I'm going to end this right there. I'm going to let it play a little more, and I'm going to end it. I'm telling y'all now, it's dudes like this is the reason why black people can't get, we can't get uh, ahead. It's dudes like this. this. This type of opinion on someone who's actually doing something good because you like another person, this is the reason why we can't get ahead. This is exactly why. It's dudes like that. No, those games were already united. He ain't do a goddamn thing but bring up his own homies and having them dance on stage. All right, let's stop here for a second. See, I don't agree with Flacco undermining all that Kendrick Lamar accomplished in LA on June 19, 2024. I read an article titled, and I quote, a historic Juneteenth, Kendrick Lamar unites West Coast rival gangs in one West movement, end quote. This article is written by a woman named Daisy Thomas, and Daisy used her voice to highlight something that I want you all and Flacco to focus on, and that is what Kendrick Lamar did was show the world a moment of unity and hope selfishly too by the way because in one of the biggest moments of his career not only did Kendrick Lamar uplift local talents from LA he uplifted DJs from LA as well and more importantly he strived to make unity and progress on the thing that has strained the black communities in LA for decades and that thing is gang rivalries do we still want to witness our loved ones being incarcerated are we okay with our communities being torn apart black men, women, young, old, losing their lives. That image from unity, that image of unity from rival games that Kendrick showed us on that stage is that the future is worth fighting for. Let me tell you this, liberation is an ongoing process, but I have zero time to debate those who stand in the way of our heroes like Kendrick Lamar making an effort. And that is why Flacco, you are completely wrong. Let's get back to the show. All right, let, let me. Yeah, so. Man, I tell you. Dangerous. Guys like that is very dangerous to the black community, to the community of people who are trying to do something to help us get past this division that we have to each other. You're trying to highlight something by saying, well, these people were already getting along and you don't even know who was on the stage. You know, maybe two people that was on the stage. That's it. You don't know none of these dudes personally. You don't know if they have issues with anybody on stage. And it wasn't about that. He basically was saying, 